The downfall of every great successful man is three things. Not having dick discipline, <laughs> not paying taxes, <laughs> and some sort of like not health thing, some sort of health thing. Yeah. That's the downfall of every, yeah. every great guy. Especially when I look around like the black community in America, every guy's like a millionaire, a billionaire. Every single one of them goes down from like dick discipline <laughs> or like not paying taxes. <laughs> it's like Diddy, Wesley Jonathan Snipes. Majors, <laughs> Wesley Snipes, Sean Kingston last week, like every every single rapper, every single athlete. It's right. like that is the downfall right. of every man. It doesn't matter how hard he worked, he messes it up over one thing, his whole reputation that took 10 years to build messes it up in one day from one of those three things. Yeah, that is so crazy. That's one thing that I am I see weirdly enough now more and more that there's like very, very successful entrepreneurs are making a lot of money, but they have no idea about social dynamics. So they wife up or girlfriend up with a bipolar crazy person and they just fuck it all up. It's so funny when I was when I was hanging out with my CMO Robin Robin Bauman. He's been on the podcast as well. So he works with a lot of seven and eight figure companies. He runs their ads, and he's like, um, he was um, visiting in Austria <clears throat> with my girlfriend, with his girlfriend, and I was there with my girlfriend. And he's like, you know that like you and your girlfriend are like the only normal people that I've ever met in a long time, something like that. Because he said um, he met a guy also. Uh, I don't think he worked with him, but he met him and he's like, the, this guy is super duper smart and he's crushing and he's making all this money and his girlfriend is like the most toxic person ever and she's just like literally actively sabotaging him. She's trying to talk down on him. She's trying to belittle him. Now, imagine what kind of energy this guy has to come up with on a daily basis just to operate an eight-figure business and imagine what he could be doing if his woman, his life partner would be non-toxic, supportive like really great and just not a bipolar crazy person. And that's a lot of times what business owners do because they don't understand social dynamics. They were like some nerd in their 20s. They were building an awesome business, never going out, never really getting a hold of this dating skill, which is what you're teaching. And now all of a sudden in their 30s, 35, they're making 20 million a year, even if it's just 2 million a year, mm -hmm. right? So now they're attracting, the, now they have the lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So now they're starting to go out, they whatever, rent a table, they go to partying in Mykonos or whatever. And now they find a really, really attractive girl who they never had. So they never had these kind of girls. So he's completely falling into the honeypot. And this girl knows this is some simpy chode. He, I'm way out of his league, looks wise. But he's got a massive business. He's massively successful. So let's go. And what is she going to do? She's trying to bind that guy via manipulation. Just like uh, like, like a guy who's ha who has to lie and use dirty pickup lines just to attract a girl instead of being himself. He needs to manipulate in order to create attraction. Same goes for women out there that might be very, very beautiful, but they have nothing going beyond their beauty. They're not nice and supportive they're highly insecure so what are they gonna use to bind the cool successful guy well they're fucking toxicity so they're gonna manipulate that guy they're gonna shame him they're gonna try to beat eyes him and all that jazz so they could then tie that guy down i mean it probably even goes as far as like stopping birth control making sure she gets the baby from the guy so because now she's covered Mm. And this is this is a real problem. There's so many men out there. I remember when I was still a dating coach, and you can probably know this as well. So many guys out there that just knocked up a girl that they didn't want to become a, a family father with, and and now they have all this responsibility. And that is a real problem. Like I, I don't want to sound sexist because I'm not, but at the same time, there are a lot of men that get fucked over by that because they don't know how to protect themselves because mm -hmm. they don't know the social circles. They don't know the social skills. They don't know how to how to read the red flags even when they're there. And they're just lonely and insecure. So they're just going to let everything happen. And that is, like you said, eventually their downfall. Yo, let's go deep. Should we go deep for a yeah, second? Yeah, let's go let's deep. Go Please, deep. let's do it. So your editor clipped this to anybody who's, anybody who's watching this as one of Max's seventh figure clients. Hit me up. I'll put you on game. Yeah, 100%. Right. This is, Check this is him, what I DM really him. Let's do it. DM me. This is, how, this is what it is. All right. <clears throat> When a, the thing is, these guys will eventually try to pursue a woman that they could not get when they were younger, when they did not have the exactly. lifestyle or the money. The problem is, it, is it attracts a woman that is interested in the opportunity. We'd agree to that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a woman that's interested in the opportunity, let's think about that. She's probably maybe had a BBL. She's probably had a tummy tuck. She's probably had some 
uh, Wait, augmentations. Hello, what's, a, what's a BBL? A Brazilian butt lift. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an operation to get to make the, the booty juicy. Oh, yeah, yeah. what was that, silicone or what is it's it? It's just like fat, taking the fat from the stomach, putting it in the, the butt. Oh, no. All the Instagram yeah. models that you see have this, okay? All of them I have I thought they are just fit. God no. damn it. No, 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 I no. I thought you guys just disciplined doing squats. <laughs> You've been fooled. You've been oh, marketed man. to. Shazammed. <clears throat> scammed. So they have these like BBLs. They have like the tummies that are like redone. They have like the boobs that are augmented. They maybe got some bulb talks, right? So let's say perhaps a woman puts in like, you know, 5K to get a BBL. That's Brazilian butt lip. Maybe yeah. 5,000 to like get her tummy done. Maybe 10K at least for her boobs. You know, she's already invested 25K. 20, 20K, 25K. Plus the other stuff, the makeup, the clothing, whatever, to create that image of her, mm. for her to be a high value product. Mm. She essentially is monetizing herself. Mm. So she has to monetize herself. Oof. She's made once you made the, she's made the investment into her body to appear that way, she then seeks a return on that investment. <laughs> it's like it's think about it, bro. It's like going to like a studio here, you buy a camera, buy yeah, equipment, yeah, buy yeah. Yeah. I gotta start charging because I gotta make money on this. Yeah. That's what happens to a woman who's invested in themselves. Mm. But the guy that now has created that lifestyle, he now wants a return. He he now has a lifestyle, he wants that woman, and she's thinking, I gotta get a return on it. It can't work. It cannot work. Mm. It's it's destined to fail. It's destined to fail. And also, those guys that have the money, they're going to lead with the opportunity, right? They're going to leave, hey, I got this lifestyle. Yeah. I go to Mykonos. I travel around. I got this fancy car. Could be a rental. doesn't really matter. I got an investment property here. I got there. I got this business. I got a, I got a you know, not just the date just Rolex. I got the better Rolex. I yeah, got yeah. the, you know, the Omega. The entry level Rolex. Yeah, I got yeah, like yeah. the presidential or something. I got the yeah. Omega. The problem with this is, she will never respect you because she knows that you're leading with your money. Mm. She knows that you want her because she's augmented, because she looks beautiful. So she can't respect you either. Mm. And he never respects the woman because he knows a woman wants him for his money. And she never respects him because she knows he wouldn't want, wouldn't want her unless she was beautiful. It's a complete mind fuck at the end of the day. The, there's a client product fit there, <laughs> but both the client and both the product don't respect each other. Yeah. Because if fuck. either of them didn't have that, they wouldn't be there. That's the actual truth of it. So it's like it's like an unsolvable equation. Actually, what happens to these really successful guys? They choose yeah. the wrong woman. They choose the wrong person, and they don't realize that. And the person they chose is they they need to get a monetary return on the investment they made. Like if I asked you right now, like, hey Max. Take these two glasses that are filled with water and just like surgically in, in, implant them into your chest. <laughs> just do that. Just yeah. I mean, they're kind of like big. They stick out like th four inches. Yeah. Just like surgically implant that into your chest for four, for for a decade. You'd be like, no. Like most of us, like I just got braces. Like I was like, you want to put some like braces in my teeth for three years? I don't know. Like I'm like like that was a, I, I could take it out when I want to eat. But yeah. I would never put anything in my body. These, these people, these women are putting things in their body. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Like implanted. They can't. They're like foreign objects implanted in order to secure the high value man. Yeah. So of course she's gonna be uh a little bit sadistic, <laughs> you know, I mean, I wouldn't like that. Right? Not not to not to you know not to say it's everybody, but generalizations are there for a reason. Because if you look at the general stats of it, how's it usually going to go? What's the usual pattern of human behavior? You can generalize these things. Yeah, you can generalize. Yeah, them. and how to protect yourself like that as a guy? Understand social dynamics. Learn dating. Like yeah. get into a state of abundance. And um, I know for me it was kind of easy because understanding dating was part of my business. Mm. So at least I got two rocks with one stone, so to speak. So when I would go out and meet women, I would also like hone the skill that would I would then coach. So I would actively make money through that basically. So I know for some people it's more like a like a like an either or situation like oh, I'm I run a software business. And if I now go out talk to girls, like I could run a business instead of make more money, but it's important investment into yourself because you need to understand what women are out there that are that are actually in love with me that want me for who I am and vice versa for women as well like if you if you want to get botox in your lips because it makes you feel better do it by all means but <clears throat> also make sure that that your man loves you the way you look in the morning like when you wake up in the morning and your man honestly still finds you attractive like that's kind of what you want it's that it's that idea of like just like you said the man dates the woman only because of her looks the woman dates only the man because of what he represents in the social hierarchy it's just superficial bullshit. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you want to wake up next to your woman, next to your man, in uh, maybe not a five-star hotel, maybe just at home, maybe not in a villa, but just in an apartment in the city, and you want to be happy. And that's if you can't do that, then 
don't fucking get in a relationship with that person. I'm not even saying you shouldn't meet these people. Like, hell, if, if you want to be in a superficial relationship for a weekend or a week or a trip or a month, fine, do it. But then don't commit long term because yeah. it's it's only it's not going to work. It's only going to go down. Um, and that's why you teach. Like, that's why I think it's so important that there's dating coaches out there in the world. We've had many dating coaches here uh, on this podcast, many friends of mine, many clients of mine that we felt. And I, it's such a... It has it's such a badly connotated job. Like, oh, so you're teaching guys how to get girls. What pickup lines do you teach? Like, I know so many dating coaches that are like, oh, I can't tell any girl I'm on a date with what I do. It's like mm-hmm. the secret day and night life. It's like Batman at night, Bruce Wayne during the day. But in reality, it's like uh, without you guys, the world would be much, 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 much worse. It's so important to learn this as a guy, more important than ever, and it becomes more important. And you know, there's a lot of guys who are like, oh, just don't don't pursue women at all. Just go monk mode. I think that serves a purpose. But I don't think monk, and we can jump into that. I think monk mode and this like red pill stuff, it's great for a period of time in your life. Mm. But to say that you're not going to interact with women is you – shutting off a whole part of your life, yeah. shutting off a whole part of your DNA, your legacy if you want to have children. It's shutting off a whole natural purpose for you. It's like I'm it's it's I'm scared of it so I'm just not going to take action. And I think that's kind of like a loser mentality to be like I'm just I'm it scares me. I'm just not going to do it. Checking out of the game. Yeah. yeah. I don't think checking out of any game is winning. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty exactly. much leaving the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That ex- it's like rage quitting. Yes. It's like you're, you know, you're you're playing an online video game. I play a lot of Gran Turismo now. Love that game to death. I bought a little racing simulator. Saw like the movie? Race, uh, oh, yeah. I love the movie. And it's based on true story, too, which is really, really sick. So I, b- I bought the racing simulator thing, like the chair, the pedals. I I've got the upgraded pedals, the something. I can't remember the name. I got the steering wheel with the sh- gear shifters on the, on, on the steering wheel. And I've just been grinding. It's so epic. And I'm like, um, in the beginning, I just ate shit. Just became b- dead last every single time. And now I, I got P2, P4, P10. Like, I'm, like, legit getting better. There's a learning curve there. And it's exactly the same there. Like, sometimes you, you're in the first corner. You're, like, in fourth or fifth. You're battling with the guys around you. And somebody hits your tail end and just pushes you off the track. And now all the other cars go by you. Mm-hmm. And you're last. You were fighting for third or fourth. And within a split second, you're last. And then... Not going to the menu and quitting, being like, fuck this, I'm not going to drive the rest of the race out of last. That costs discipline to not just quit and give up, but say, you know what, fuck it. I might be last, but I'm still going to finish the race. I'm going to use it to get better. Mm -hmm. And that's metaphorically speaking exactly the same. Like most guys, like you're going to suck at this as a guy, unless you're blessed with naturally good genetics or naturally very outgoing personality, like I see some guys. But ultimately, if you're an average guy like me or like you, you're probably going to suck at the beginning. So you're basically the equivalent of just having been pushed off the road and you're now in dead last. Keep going. Sometimes you're going to end up last too. But sometimes you actually, there's like fighting in front of you. Some of the other cars go off the, off the track and you end up still top 10. Sometimes you can even fucking win.